With a nearly 32% increase in traffic fatalities here in Greenville County over the last few years, it's more important than ever to drive defensively. Because it only takes a few seconds for a simulation like this to become a reality. That's why Drive Alert Training Academy owner Tina Dot founded her business in the first place. We kind of want them to make their accidents first before they hit the road. It might look like a video game, but this program puts students through real life simulations, buckling up, signaling, and braking to prepare for facing distracted, speeding, and impaired drivers. I mean, you almost kind of got to be paranoid, right? You know, you hate to use that word, but I mean, that's the way I am sometimes in the car. I like, I'm constantly looking around, you know, looking at other vehicles, you know, making sure people, like I said earlier, aren't running traffic lights or coming into my lane. According to Ridgeway with the South Carolina Highway Patrol, Greenville County has seen a steady increase in traffic deaths, partially because of the influx of people. He believes most of those deaths could have been avoided. About half of all fatal collisions are called, caused by impaired drivers, unfortunately. And about half of the individuals killed did not have a seatbelt on. As a Greenville law enforcement officer, Dodd saw a need for defensive driving courses when she watched three teens crash and die in front of her. She still remembers holding their parents back as they covered the bodies. I think about it every time I, 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 I pass that intersection when I'm with a student. Yeah. Yeah, what the outcome would have been. Though the simulation looks like a game, to Dodd, as more people lose their lives on Greenville County roads, it's anything but. We have to, you know, have this approach where, we, where they hate us now, but they love us later. In Greenville, Peyton Furtado, WYFF News 4.